Hi everyone, welcome to the first Hurricane Tracker video update of the season. We have a couple of tropical disturbances we wanted to quickly update you on uh, tonight and also kind of give you a feel for how the video updates will work this, se this season. For those of you who uh, would like a little more in-depth analysis than what the app provides or what the audio updates provide. The first uh, disturbance I just wanted to mention to you is the uh, disturbance here in the Central Caribbean Sea, just south of Jamaica. Uh, still relatively weak. It was a lot better organized yesterday than it is today. And right now the National Hurricane Center has placed development chances in the low category. And the system here in the Eastern Pacific Basin, south of Mexico, a little bit better chances of development in the medium category. Uh, but neither of these systems pose any uh, immediate signs of developing here in the next 24 to 48 hours. If anything does develop or come out of these two systems, it probably won't be until early next week. Um, so we'll definitely keep an eye on those for you. Let's take a look at the satellite imagery here for our system in the uh, Caribbean Sea. And you can see uh, initially here, you know, it looks very disorganized. There's really uh, nothing to it. You would expect uh, much better uh, you know, organization of the storms if this thing uh, were to be developing here anytime soon. What's been happening is there's been a lot of dry air here in the uh, Western Caribbean Sea. That's kind of been uh, being pulled into the storm and that's been really uh, hindering ch the chances of the storm developing here, which is good news. We don't want anything to develop, especially this early in the season. Um, now this evening, uh, a few minutes before this video, I took a look at the satellite imagery and it does look like some uh, convection is firing up near the center. So we'll have to see if this trend continues. But right now, uh, good news on this system. It doesn't look like any immediate threat for anybody. It doesn't look like it's going to develop anytime soon. If it does decide to develop, it probably won't be till sometime early to middle part of next week. And again, you can tell we're immediately uh, looking at a very disorganized system. Uh, here looking at the infrared, you can see earlier today there was much more uh, precipitation and convection associated with the system. But again, you could see how this blob is refiring here as we get into the evening hours. Uh, so again, we'll have to see if that continues and uh, see what tomorrow brings for the system. But uh, again, right now, this is a very good signs. It looks like it's uh, not going to develop anytime soon. Now, computer models are all over the place and not very reliable uh, before a storm reaches tropical depression status. Just wanted to kind of show you this for kicks. Um, a lot of these computer models are pretty much all over the place. Some want to take the, the uh, storm or the remnants to the northeast. A few of them want to bring it north towards uh, Cuba and Florida, and then some more want to bring it towards the uh, Western Caribbean Sea. And even one model here uh, on Saturday of next week uh, wants to bring any leftover moisture associated with this disturbance up towards Florida. That would be some good news. So that's a part of the country where rain is desperately needed but we uh, certainly don't want a, a landfalling tropical system here this early, or at all, uh, for that matter. Now for the disturbance here in the uh, eastern Pacific, it's also very disorganized, just minimal uh, precipitation and convection associated with this storm. And again, this will take some time to strengthen if it decides to do so. And uh, computer models generally want to bring this system, uh, move it towards the west-northwest away from Mexico, uh, so at this time, it looks like uh, the system in the East Pacific uh, won't be a threat uh, for anybody, which is, which is great news. Uh, so this will conclude our first video update. Thanks for watching and for using Hurricane Tracker. If you have any comments or suggestions of other maps you want to see or other uh, uh, things we should talk about in these videos, let me know. We're, we're very open to your suggestions. And uh, thanks so much. Everybody have a great evening.